You're listening to Real Coaching Radio TV, building a positive network. Obviously, you, you've you been on a journey, and um, what I'm reading in what you described is, is that you found your calling, that there was a bigger purpose why you were doing what you were doing, and you found it, and... Uh, and now you're experiencing what I call freedom, real freedom. Is that accurate? Absolutely. It's it's freedom. It's it's inner, it's contentment. It's peace of mind. It's it's this certainty mm. that that um, allows me to stay completely on on target and to be completely open to being a guide and a resource for whoever connects with that message and and is looking for what I have to offer. Absolutely. And being connected to myself and being connected to you, I absolutely know without reading your book, without reading every word on your website, that the, that the way you got here is that, and I'm doing this for the benefit of our viewers, the way you got here is you connected to your divine self. Is that accurate? Completely. Okay. And I can share with you how that happened, how, how it really Please. crystallized. You, you already know what my next question is. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, make it, I'll make it easy for you. Okay. Um, so as I was deciding how I was going to take all these experiences and this, and this passion and this kind of new sense of my, of my purpose and apply it in the world, I decided that I wanted to be a uh, to help other physicians, other people in healthcare, to become more of who they are are meant to be, to kind of get back to that that person who started down that path when they first filled out that application and that, had that that dream to go to medical school before everything else kind of got piled on top and 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 they got confused. And I decided that to be really effective at that. I would be, um, it would help to go learn some coaching skills and, and techniques. I didn't actually think I was going to become a coach, but I wanted to learn some of the coaching skills and techniques. And I found a coaching, coach training program called Coach for Life that was just, uh, phenomenal. It was just, it opened up this no, a whole new world for me, and it and it helped me become um, get in touch with that divine self. And now I've take, I've learned those techniques, and I've started doing the same thing for the other people that I work with. And it's all focused on knowing deeply who you are, becoming very deeply in touch with that divine inner nature, really falling deeply in love with yourself. Because you know yourself so well, knowing your value, highest values, your, your unique gifts and purpose, and aligning your life around that. So using that as your navigation, as your guidance system from that point forward. Right. That's that's absolutely fantastic. And of course, I know that from my own experience that 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 this is not easy because most people, including myself, before I become or became awake and conscious. Um, I was pretending <laughs> and most people love to pretend they're very good at it they masters at it and they will defend it to their death right. so how do you how do you get through to that beyond that well it's not easy um, <laughs> that's all they know it's all most people know right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. They don't know they're pretending. They, they believe that that's that they're living, you know, authentically, and um, that that's their real self. And what it really is, let's just call it what it is. It's their ego. And right. we also know in the world out there that we know that doctors have lots of egos and PhDs, right? Yeah, no question about it. So I don't. So, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Uh, to convince people, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to open the space for it, and I'm putting and, and I'm 
doing some speaking and I'm trying to, I'm creating this web presence. I'm, I'm uh, getting on shows like what we're on here and I'm, and I'm just putting myself out there. And, and interestingly, I have expanded beyond just working with healthcare providers because people who heard what I was saying and people I've connected with have reached out to me. So I'm working with entrepreneurs and I'm working with, uh, PhDs and business owners. Uh, and anyone who, who feels aligned, who said, who feels like what I'm offering, what I'm suggesting, what I'm willing to do on their behalf is valuable for them. Uh, there have been some physicians, there have been some other coaches, some wellness coaches. I'm, I'm, uh, I would love to create a, a group of healthcare providers and physicians who want to share, take this kind of message and, and share it. Uh, as well, and that's part of what Doctors on Purpose is designed to do in time. Uh, but you're right, people have a hard time, and especially doctors and people with those big egos. And I'm not, I'm not here to fight with anybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to, uh, to yeah. be, I'm, I'm here when somebody is reaches out and, and taps into that. Yes, well, I, based on who you're being, uh, Bob, I can I can tell already, I mean, people will be attracted to you. The people that can hear, like the way I described this is they, we all have these antennas, mm -hmm. invisible antennas on our, on our head. If, if that antenna is tuned into who you are being and what they're looking for, they'll come to you. So I'm finding, and, then, and yeah. I agree. And I'm, and I'm being drawn to other like-minded people as well. I, I'm part of a mastermind group. Uh, there's a hundred of us in most of us are on that same wavelength and that kind of moving at, at that energy and it's very enjoyable yeah I'm, yeah yeah absolutely absolutely fantastic so so I, I think where I want to take the conversation to is because on what I'm also noticing about you that what you've done is you have taken responsibility and accountability for your life and how you're gonna live your life and again, most people don't want to take responsibility or kind of in fact, they try to avoid it mm -hmm. <laughs> at all costs. So let's talk about that for for a moment. That what is it like, and how did you shift? Uh, not to say that you weren't responsible or accountable before. What I'm what I'm more talking about, more specifically, is to be accountable and and responsible 100 percent not 80 not 70 not 50 you know a lot of people say you know in relationships we'll do it 50 50 no 100 percent what did that take you to realize it that took, do it? it took me an instant honest you know instant. honestly it took yeah. me it took an instant to make the decision and that's part of what happened that was the most powerful part of what happened on that sitting on that bluff looking out at the ocean that day. Um, mm -hmm. And on the, I mean, I, I can see it as clearly as if it happened this morning. There was a whale. Actually, there was a, a whale in the distance. It was a whale. It was in February. It was, almost, it was almost exactly 10 years to the day from today. It was in February of 2002 when that, when that happened. You're listening to Real Coaching Radio TV, building a positive network.